What time it is? It's beer time! It's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. They haven't got the big coffee on it, is it, to open it this time? So we've got the scissors out. <laughs> so I can get my finger under the cellar tape. Yeah. Well, this is like a 12 box size. It looks like 12 uh, box size. It? I haven't ordered the 12 yeah. box size. But maybe they sent me, maybe they didn't kind of sent me a 12 box for Christmas, like, you know, yeah. the goodness of that heart. They probably haven't, but, you know, we've only, because uh, we've only got one snack this time, because you're not getting a box at the moment, are you? So, no, it's definitely only eight. What a shame. Yeah. Pop oats, light and crispy pop oat snacks. Let's see if it's legal. Gluten free barbecue flavour. Got no idea what the. Uh, see if I can work out from here. Scotland, it's got Scotland it's on it, so maybe these are all Scottish beers this week. Yeah, well, well, I haven't received no, any emails. No, I haven't any looked any at the, emails, the so thing. Uh, I never. have a look at that. Right, yeah, I think Harvest Town, that's a. Uh, old Engine Oil, Black Ale, crafted in Scotland, rich bit of sweet velvet. Mm. Harveston Brewery. Well, the picture of Scotland on the front, so yeah, I guess it's a is, bit yeah. of a giveaway. Taste the freedom of the best beers north of the wall. There yeah. you go. Hop Something. Series Pale mm. Light Session Ale. Micro Brewery in Scotland. So, Scotland for, the, for this month. Velo Pale Ale. Might be alright. Interesting. Uh, sort of weird labels on this one. Yeah. Et -a. Same. Same company, isn't it? Yeah. DDH pale. Okay. What the hell could DDH mean? Well, we'll, we'll get to looking at those later yeah. on anyway. Uh, mostly bottles, this one. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. nice black Kolsch. Did we look up Kolsch before? Didn't yeah, we? Was... German type. Yeah, yeah something like that. that. Yeah. We'll give you a bit of We, we read about it before, but I forgot. We forgot about it's it, it's yeah. a style of. Read about it, forgot Wasn't about it. it. Something, was it something with the hops or it something? Was it like an owly type lager? Like, Maybe. Like, like, yeah, something it's like that. Maybe colour and half, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like wow. Circus is in town. Something like that. Yeah. Even though it's gay pride, I'm not too sure. Mm. It's quite colourful. It's a bit of a rainbow going on there. Breakfast it's toast. <laughs> breakfast stout. <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is Scottish, but it's it's Scotland? breakfast stout. Yeah, yeah. You wake up, you have a, a, a have can a beer, of stout yeah. for yeah. Uh, breakfast. Welcome, welcome to Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some porridge and, and a can of breakfast stout yeah. to start off the day. Wanganui. Wanganui, eh? Kiwi, kiwi pale ale. Wow. So that's a bit confusing. And is it, I thought it was all Scotland. And wow. this, this, this it might be kiwi. one of them uh, sent out ones, you know, like, mm, like kiwi style or something. Yeah, maybe. You know? We'll soon find out. We'll anyway, we're going to bung these in the fridge. Yeah. And uh, then I suppose we must drink them. Yeah. Yeah. No, leave them. Yeah. Leave them. No, yeah. I think we'll drink them. Yeah. Let's beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's beer. Yeah, that's going to be the nearest one. The first one comes. We've already had four beers between us. Ah. Oh. Right, we did a couple of beer and vinyls. So this yeah. is going to be a nice drunk one. Mm. This is a Velo Pale Ale, 5.5% ABV. Uh, we brew in North East Scotland, six degrees north of Brussels. We are blessed with pure soft water and fields abound with high quality barley. Our beers are unfiltered and carbonated through secondary fermentation. Velo is a classic pale ale with a US yeast providing a clean and refreshing backbone, allowing us to showcase okay, some, some of, of Europe's Europe best hot varieties. varieties. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. Are you reading my mind? Yeah. Huel Melon, Melon Mandarina Bavaria, Bavaria and German, German Cascade provide a distinctly tropical aroma with a balanced dry finish. <laughs> we should have both looked into the camera and said that at the same time, like a pair of zombies. Yeah. Let's try that again. Yeah. Huel Melon. <laughs> no, you, you wouldn't be working your reading it from there. Yeah, you do the bottles because they're small right, writing yeah. and I'll do the... Uh, right. So we got, it's 5.5, it's a pale ale. Oh, well done to um, Ferment, by the way, for uh, marking out. Yeah, the they've changed the style yeah. on the... It's a lot easier to yeah, follow. Depending on which size case you've got, and if you've got yeah. any extras, they've, they've made it so it's uh, easy to and see. And it's beers from Scotland, though, we already... Yeah, apart yeah. from the one that looked like it was from... Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, Kiwi land. Talking of Kiwi, they're a fucking volcano as well, isn't they? Yeah. Seen that, they've a volcano in New Zealand. No, I fucking need to watch that. You don't those. Not as much as I should. I think five people dead so far. No way, really? Yeah. Get okay, on. Oh. Volcanoes. Don't Aberdeenshire, it comes from. You don't get volcanoes in England, we're sensible over here. No volcanoes, no hurricanes, no, no typhoons, no earthquakes, no poisonous snakes, no sharks, no crocodiles. It's the safest island, really. Fucking made, um, we're really made. 
The only, the only... It's no wonder we used to rule the massive empire at one point because no. we had no natural enemies. No. <laughs> no, no one can kill us. Yeah. Nature can't kill us. Well, now, the only thing um, that's if we hear is floods. Yeah, we do get floods. We, we do get our floods. But that's why we've all got webbed feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got um, a lot of uh, same that. We've got malty, hoppy, bitter, smooth, floral, all, all right. that three. Okay. So no overpowering taste, no, no fives at all. Sweet and fruit at one and sour at naught. Zero, right. Well, I think no time we've been doing this. This is show eight now, I think. Wow. Is it show eight? I think it is. Maybe, yeah. We've not had, we've had one sour beer. I yeah, that only one sour one. ever. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. That was I liked different. it. It was different, wasn't yeah. it? It was weird. Right, so, mm. chin old bean. Yeah. Let's get beer in. Ha <laughs> ha. We'll make that a phrase, shall we? Let's, Let's get, get beer in. <laughs> Quite a nice one. Right? first, yeah. Mm. Yeah, typical kind yeah. of. You know where you're going with this one. Mm. Oh. Tiny bit of a twang yeah. back of the throat. Not massively hoppy though. It taste like, yeah. That's probably the hops, but it's not like overbearing oh. of the hops at all. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, Some ingredients. Oh, it's got wheat in. Yeah. Mm. Morty barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. Was it 5%, was it? Uh, and it is, yeah, 5.5. 5. 5.5, 5. 5. Yeah. so it's quite, it's quite strong. 5.5 5. abbreviation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a heart back to an old show. Yeah, yeah. When he, he read ABV, which is alcohol by volume, as an abbreviation. It's not his abbreviation. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't your proudest moment, mate. I've got, to... <laughs> I've got lots of non proud moments <laughs> yeah. on this show. Yeah. Um, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. It's, it's alright. It's, all right. right, it? it's, 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 yeah. it's what but, you expect, isn't it? It's yeah. not like. There's no outstanding features oh. of it. It's just a. Just, yeah. Oh, um, be pal out, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, quite nice, quite fruity. Yeah, it's not all, bad. Yeah. Um, it's not maybe something I would continue severely mm. drinking, mm. but that's what, oh, mm. that's what I was thinking. That's yeah. what I was going with. It'd be one of those ones where you, you, you buy it and you go, yeah, okay, it's not too yeah. bad. It wouldn't be one where you're like, oh, what the fuck have I bought here? Yeah. Certainly not in that drinking yeah. level of, but it's um. Hasn't got like a memorable taste mm. or so yeah, it's a little tiny bit of a twang which isn't too terrible. Um, but yeah, I'm probably looking. I'd be probably if I was in the pub buying this, I'd probably look look along the bar to see what else was available afterwards. But I suppose yeah. I've got to give. It's uh, it's hard because I, I feel like I'd give it a two point five. It feels like I'm I'm making it a bit down, but I don't think, I don't think it deserves a three anyway. Just, don't really tell you. Like, it's only. Uh, a little tiny bit there saying what brew it is, where it's six degrees north. Oh, six degrees north, yeah. yeah it's, it mentions brewery. six degrees north yeah. of Belgium. It mentions that right. thing. So maybe they're trying to go with a Belgium kind of... Yeah. When you look at the package... It's when not you, a Belgium style. But you look at, I mean, if you look at that, it, there's nothing on there. If, if someone showed it to me and said, what, what country do you reckon that's from? I think mm. Scotland would be very low down in yeah. my... In my li you know, yeah. got v, v low, V low. It's like... Yeah. It looks like it's foreign language, yeah, so like, maybe yeah. maybe they, they, they that's really, the angle they're going for. The fact they mentioned they're six degrees uh, north mm. of Belgium mm. uh, makes you think that they're it's uh, made with US oh, sorry, of Brussels, six degrees yeah. north of Brussels makes you think that they're big fans of the the European mm. style of, of uh, beers. It says it's got US yeast, but it says Europe's best hop varieties. So you, you yeah. hops is US and the ye and the and the no yeast, the US is yeast. Yeah, so yeast, yeast is US and hops, hops are from Europe. Europe. So yeah. Then you obviously German cascade, which yeah. I've heard of. Yeah. Oh. So no, they're Scottish. I think it's things like they're Scottish brewery, but they're, they're going with the more European mainland kind of style of beers. They're not like a, a, a typical British uh, uh, ale. More, I, wanna, I would say. I want to see a Scottish beer like like a uh, sort of mm. like like that um bit of haggis, whiskey, it? bit of haggis in it. Yeah, <laughs> but like maybe with a bit of whiskey, like yeah. with a whiskey barrel. Do you remember yeah, St Peter's? Yeah, yeah that's that, right. Uh, there is one like that. Yeah. yeah. But that's weird. That St Peter's is Cornish, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I've been looking at all the packaging that we've seen so far. I wouldn't have guessed Scotland on any of them. I don't yeah. think. And even I like, see the name of it with the blinking inflection over the e the. Yeah, little tick. Whatever it is, little tick. Yeah, little tick. Velo. Yeah, it just looks more French. Yeah. But I think in uh, Belgium they speak Flemish and they also speak French there, don't they? So I'm yeah, assuming yeah, these yeah. are just like a very uh, influenced by the European mainland uh, yeah, company, sure I are. guess. And probably the beer is that as well. I wouldn't have 
Yeah, but it's, to me, it's like it's like an American pub yeah, now. It's yeah. not like, an, it's a, not like a, a Belgian beer. No, so like, you, like a Belgian beer. You, I don't know, I've yeah. not had, drunk that many Belgian beers, I don't think, so I wouldn't look too sure. Yeah. No, like, really strong, heavy, wheaty mm. sort of taste, like... Is what I think but, about Belgian beers, but um, not like a lot of the American ones that we've had. We're really overkilled on the wheat, on the yeast, uh, the oat. Oh fuck me! <laughs> the oat, the yeast. Yeah, some kind of thing. Hops, yeah. hops, hops. Yeah. Now I'm going to have overkill on the hops. Yeah. That's four beers already. I'm, I'm going to yeah. be messed by the end of this. We <laughs> well, did twelve messed. last time, didn't we? And we was all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think, well I think we're all right. right. We, we thought we were all yeah. right anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We survived. We both, I think we had ne- I think we had nearly 100 views on our last yeah, show. Really? Yeah, really? I don't even look back pretty, at me, actually. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. Mm. I must lo- love our drunkenness. <laughs> mm. they're, not, they're there for the quality review. Absolutely. They, they know exactly what they're going to get if they drink these beers now. They'll yeah. be like, what the fuck? Are they? They're actually deciding what they think the beer actually is. They're yeah. just, they just come out with every single kind of catchphrase. Yeah. And... Uh, um, Oh, a stereotype about yeah. the beer that they can think of, which is probably what we do, really. I think they like like to hear you uh, moan about the parallels as well. Yeah, it's always good fun. It, 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 me moaning and talking yeah. rubbish. <laughs> I'll probably score us a three, maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go 2.5. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's, it's not like... It's weird, yeah. I do, I do have to sort of question some of my earlier marking, because... Yeah. I think sometimes I've scored stuff 2.5, which is not as good as this. Yeah. But I don't feel I should give it a free because it doesn't quite mix up with yeah. some of the things that I think I've given freeze in the past. Yeah. Kind of like um. Very unmemorable. Yeah. You know, it's like it's just a. It's just another pan out, isn't it? Yeah. It's just yeah. A, just a another beer basically. It's yeah. no nothing to redeem it or or you know really it does make it stand up above any others, mm. but. But it doesn't stand out for goodness, but it also doesn't stand out for horribleness, which is good. Same company. Same company. Another one that you just look at it and you think, no indication looking at that where, you've, where it was from. Etap. Yeah, hit it. So it's French again. Yeah. This is only 3.8. But oh. DDH pale, hopefully it's going to say on there what that means. No. It's just... <laughs> uh, right, I've got the same thing about them being six degrees north of Brussels. Yeah. Etap. Is a double dry hot, hot tail presenting bold, bold stone fruit flavours from a carefully selected, selected blend of New Zealand hops with just enough bitterness to leave you wanting more. It's, sometimes <laughs> it's different here. Yeah, I know, sometimes like, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Not this month. Yeah. Well, hoppy. 3.8, quite, quite, uh, you know. Yeah, big. quite light, yeah. yeah quite light. Uh, so, hoppiest high yeah. at four. Yeah. We got bitter, smooth, Fruit floral. And fl- oh, floral is four as well. Yeah. We've got fruits, smooth and bitter at three. We've got malty at two, sweet, sweet at two, two, and sour at naught. Okay. Again, good old sour. I'm, I'm thinking it's just going to be a bit like the, the one we just yeah, had, but yeah, a little bit too. more on the hop side. Yeah. But it's lighter, it's uh, less yeah. alcohol. Though, so this is what it's one of those ones they call a session where you can have yeah. a skin good skin full without yeah. dying. You know, yeah. <laughs> It looks like a lago, you know, it's got yeah. a, that mm. pale list to it. <laughs> Don't know what, yeah, I wonder what a DDH power is. Yeah, DDH. Mm. You'd think that would be something they'd tell you on the actual... Yeah, well, that, they're expecting us already to be experts, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're never going to be experts. I know. We're um, more piss artists than DDH. experts. DDH. I know, don't know. <laughs> it might be something they've even made up, you know. Maybe, but you well, don't think it actually stands for anything. It's just called DDH. No, maybe, it might maybe, be, but maybe, it, yeah, it, it could might be something, something they Yeah, 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 like right. and it's about a little mm. private in joke yeah. with the company or something like that. Where some, somebody said something once, you know, and they said let's just call that. Let's call our next day all that. A DDH. Yeah, DDH yeah. for sure. Message people. Yeah. Um, it's a, quite interesting because <laughs> maybe we get yeah. The floral thing wrong, but I can't smell anything. No, 
the last one smelt more. Yeah, well, I always think floral was to do with the, with the aroma, but it's not. Yeah, there's maybe, very rarely any know. massively sort of aroma mm. going on with these, is there? They've all got the same. The last one had a quite fruity smell. Yeah, I think so. I think floral is more to do with the taste. I don't know, taste mm -hmm. of flowers? I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I, you sniff, it's got to be sniff, isn't it? We need to ask Beer 52. Because yeah. this is tasting, though, it's not sniffing notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sniffing notes. It smells like beer. <laughs> smells it's like beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, it's, it's, you I thought it was a bit cloud cloudy. Yeah, very, I thought it was a bit cloudy. cloudy. I wasn't very sure cloudy. it was cloudy on my reflection in the glass for a second, but no, it's definitely yeah. cloudy. Cloudy. Unless my face looks like that. No, it's my face. <laughs> it's, it's not that unlike the last one. No. It's actually a little less. No, no, it has got a twang. No. Yeah, it's, it's less fruity than the, than the other one. Mm, it's got a secondary twang as well, actually. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I feel that like the twang goes in different parts of your mouth. Yeah. Do you get you you can get that feeling where it's sort of I don't know touching different parts of, of your. Yeah. Can make like the, the last one. A bit yeah, weird. the last one felt like a little twang in the back of the mm. throat. This one kind of feels more like a twang in the roof of my mouth for some reason. Okay. Do you get you get that or am I just a fucking fantasist? It may well be. Mm. Um. No, I don't think it's as nice as the other one actually. Mm. There's not a tremendous amount of flavour going on. No. It's okay. It's just kind it's of just wet, it, and then you've got that that that. It's a bit hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. hoppy. It's a bit of a hop rate. Yeah, but it's, it's not. I don't know. I don't. It's, it's not, not so severe. Maybe, it could but, be that I'm getting more mm. used to the hops, but it yeah. doesn't feel like quite so much as being twatted with a hop rack cricket bat yeah. like some of them do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna wrap this cricket bat with hops. Yeah. Whack! It's a double dry hops. Right. Yeah. That might have something to do with it. Yeah. Was the double dry hops something to do? They put them in they, like they later on in the process. Yeah, yeah. And, like they, that. and they double it up as mm. well. There's something uh, I learned off my sister actually called green hop. And that's uh, hops that are not kind of cooked they're properly. Fresher. They're fresher. fresher. Right, okay. And apparently they're really strange beers. Okay. But, um, so hop. many things. It's just it's alchemy. It's like yeah, they're, it's turning, mean, yeah. they're turning base metals into gold, but yeah. in like liquid, drinkable form. That's what, that's what the, the art of it is. Yeah. Doesn't say what the hops are on this one, but... No. I, I can't say... Mm. Kind of... Do interposable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's not much difference. <coughs> it doesn't feel yeah. like it's... <coughs> I'm coughing already. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, Less alcoholic than the other one, though, does it? Because you can't really no. taste alcoholic sometimes. What was the difference? That was 5.5, 3.8. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel no like way. it's a lighter, less alcoholic drink. Not at all. Probably because of the hopiness. it might yeah. feel more. Because the hopiness, you yeah. mistake sometimes for being... Strong, isn't it? Yeah, strength, yeah. alcoholic strength, but it's just the hopiness. Yeah, I, um, I, I'm, I'm a 2.5 with this, I think. So you don't like it as much as the last one? No, no, I prefer the last one. I think, um... I'm going to go 2.5 again, yeah, I think, because yeah. they're kind of interchangeable. You, yeah. I could be drinking what, like that, different mouths than each, and I wouldn't feel yeah. an awful lot of difference between them. I slightly enjoyed the, the one before a bit more, because it had a little bit more of a fruity taste to it. Right. I think, but, uh, yeah. I didn't really pick up yeah. much with my palate. I think, I'm not even sure I've got a fucking palate for drinking, to be honest. There should be one way, some way of testing people. Like, uh, I just... I just like getting pissed, really, and, and talking. Because my sister likes <laughs> these new, newfangled uh, high hops. Lucy. Beers. Lucy, yeah, yeah, she does. I was kind of surprised with that, but she mm. does like them. I like them, don't get me wrong, but they're much. never my favourite nah. type of beer. Yeah. But you drink them and you'll go, okay, it's, yeah. it's alcoholic. Oh, uh, yeah, it's so, but Yeah, I mean, I don't mind them. You wouldn't, know. Go, wouldn't flip your lid over them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I think this one is getting a little bit more. Stressful. As you go along, it's factor, you know, it's mm. like as you go along, it's getting a little bit more, mm. less palatable, a little bit more twangy, mm. like the twang is building up kind of thing. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's all right though. Yeah, it's all right, but nothing that I would go out of my way to buy. Yeah. Mm. And I think this is probably... Uh, American influence as well, do you reckon? It's got yeah, that, yeah. It, it's straight up. Yeah. That kind of. We talked about it's got New Zealand hops though. Why? Are you... Oh, is that, oh, you did yeah, say it. Yeah, okay. New Zealand hops. Mm. Just enough bitterness to leave you wanting more. Uh, mm. I'm not sure I'm that keen on the bitterness. 
They say that the bitter ear is free, but it tastes very bitter to me. I don't know. Hobby is high, that's fair dues. Yeah. Mm. Eh. I don't think it's super bitter, but it's yeah. just the sort of bitter and hoppiness together. I kind of go hand in hand in the Yeah, way. yeah, but they don't. It doesn't appeal to my taste buds. Mm. Another one that I'll be like, yeah, uh, I won't get another one of them kind of yeah. thing. In fact, to be honest, when I go to the pub, I always say, which is the darkest one you got in the in the? In the I know I prefer the darker yeah. ones. You know, I, I, my older sister's a, she only likes darker. Yeah, she's not really a drinker, my older sister. But if she does, she knows what she likes. It, it has yeah. to be like a darker beer. Mm. It's just because it's got a nicer kind of mouth feel and everything to me. This is just like, yeah, like that bitter, hoppy, twangy kind of like. Mm. <laughs> I've had enough now after a few. If I, if I was drinking a, if I had a pint of this, I might even, if it was a pint, I might actually leave some. Yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? I might be like, yeah, so I've had enough of that now. Yeah. Get, I'll get something different. <laughs> Trouble is sometimes when you go to the pub, you've always got the fucking, the crap on. They're not gonna say crap, they're the old sort of standards like your Abbott yeah. or something like that, or your, your Raddles or something like yeah. that. And you, you, want, you want often, when they've got like different beers on, you want to try, one of the ones you've not seen before. Yeah. Uh, you've got like a, a yeah. taste quest, always. don't you? A quest for new taste. Always, my, my thing in the pub is always to try a new beer. Yeah. Always. But if you had this was the option, you'd have like when you're going to I'm going to go to the fucking Reliables. They're not the, the greatest, but they're, they're, they're like yeah. bog standard it, kind of beers. It depends but, what I've got. I yeah. mean, like, if there's a big selection of beers that I've not tried, I'll always try a different one. Yeah. In fact, even if I... Uh, even if there's a selection of beers and I really like the one I had, I still will probably try and have one because I just like trying different yeah. beers. And this, and I, 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 I mean, I had so Abbott I find Red I, the other day. Okay. Abbott Red. It was good actually. If I find a, like a dark beer and I mm. like it, I'll fucking pretty stick with it. Unless there's another dark yeah. beer on the, as well that I might yeah. change. It, it was like, you know, amazing, like, I was yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if it was like I've had a dark beer and then the next one was like a light one, I'd just yeah. say no, because I know typically I prefer the dark beers, so I'll stick, I'll stick with this one. I said you were going to eat the can, yeah? Or? No, you oh, got your okay. can away because of my, my eyes. Okay. <laughs> right, so this is breakfast toast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> breakfast stout. 71 yeah. Brewing. Didn't yeah. we have one of theirs that they did a collaboration with a, another company? Really? I think we did. Remember one time we had a collaboration between two companies? I think one right. was from Scotland and one was from like... I don't know. Uh, Finland. I think it was a Finland really? one. I believe okay. so, yeah. Okay. Breakfast toast. Bre Blueprint Series 005. 4.5 yeah. volume. Yeah. Nice sort of purpley little can going on there. Yeah. Brewed in Dundee. 71 Brewing and Tap Room. Uh, Let's get the burp out first. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the middle of my talking. Yeah. Raise a toast to beer for breakfast. Created with seven <laughs> different malts, lactose, Madagascan <laughs> vanilla <laughs> pods, and, and conditioned on Guatemalan cold, cold brew from the Sacred Grounds yeah. Coffee Company. Okay. Dark and smooth with a cinnamon, cinnamon head, head, aromas of vanilla, vanilla chocolate, chocolate, coffee, coffee milk, milk, and, and a, a gorgeous, gorgeous long, long finish. finish. Creates a perfect mashup from the start and the end of the day. <laughs> they okay. create a perfect mash up, mash up from the start and end of the day. That's, I'm quite sure that sentence made much sense. Anyway, whatever. Basically, what they're saying, drink all day. Yeah, oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a good idea. No. But it sounds interesting, I must Company say. Company 71 Brewing, yeah. yeah. We got um, 4.5 wow. milk stout. We normally like the milk stout. I normally like the milk yeah, stout. Yeah, I like any stout. Yeah. I've never really not had a stout before. No. I don't like that. No, um, that's we got, true. We got four on the smooth. Mm -hmm. We got uh, three on bitter. Oh, we yeah. got three on malty and three on sweet. Okay. And it's naught for everything else. Right, cool. No hoppiness, no, no sour, no twang. floral, no We're going to have a nice little chewy aftertaste on this yeah. rum. You know, a nice coolness of the of the lactose as well. Mm. Vanilla, I don't know if you've ever noticed. Can I just make an announcement Vanilla. about um, next year when we do um, B52? Yeah. I'm, I'm, um, going, I'm going to be going and make a strip of my veganism. Oh, right. So uh, any, anything that's got lactose in, it's all yours, my, my fella. Yeah. So he's going to be even more pissed. 
So, so I, I won't be having any. Um, that's gonna um, be a. That's episodes. gonna be. That's gonna be a weird video. Yeah, then. yeah. Just watching <laughs> you like this, getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Gray. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no, no. In all, yeah. in all seriousness, you yeah, guys, I'm going. I'm going. Is that? Going. Is that? Uh, for ethical reasons or oh, for uh, health? One hundred percent. Yeah. Ethical. So you don't like. Cows having their titties pulled and having their babies taken away from them, that kind of shit is what kind of. I'm surprised you even know the, about the that. The <laughs> yeah. 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 It's making them produce milk for longer. And, isn't and, it? and, and, the, and not only that, they, the dairy cows, when they're finished, do actually get slaughtered for meat. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Tasty dairy cows. Oh, no, they are. <laughs> oh, come on, steak, mate. Rump steak. Yeah. Can't beat a rump steak. But, <laughs> but you don't anymore. I don't anymore. Yeah. I can see all the moral arguments about it, but I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'm too lazy. Yeah. I was in, like, I was in Tesco, it's like, there's so many vegan What are they going to do with all the cows if everyone becomes vegan? This is my question. Um, got an answer for that. Yeah. Um, in fact, I've got an answer for everything now. Yeah, go for I'm, it. I'm, 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 um, you read now. Well, the thing is, we actually breed these animals into existence. Yeah. So, so if, uh, if everyone goes vegan, it won't be straight away, will it? It'll be a gradual yeah. thing. So we'll just produce less animals into existence. So right, it will slowly go down. I suppose if they're not being killed, it doesn't matter if there's less of them, I suppose. Yeah. Well, well, you've got to remember, we we'd, 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 we'd like there's too pasture. many of them. There's, yeah. there's millions they're of cows. They're all the time, yeah. clean the ozone layer, yeah, they're they? burping, actually. Oh, you're but, burping. Um, and there's not only that, stomachs. There's four you, stomachs. you need so much land for cows. Yeah. Enough. And also, we, we use so much grain to feed the animals yeah. when we could feed the population. People, yeah, yeah. 70% of grain in America is fed to livestock. Get me behind me, vegan scum! Yeah. Stop trying to convert me! Do you know how many uh, people <laughs> they could feed if they didn't feed livestock to cattle in America? Livestock to cattle or, yeah, or no, grain no. to cattle? Livestock, <laughs> <laughs> grain to cattle. Because right. I say that, that's wrong, that's just plain wrong, that is. They probably do that as well. Like, yeah, that's with it. That's out of 800 million people. Yeah? But that, that's, that's how the fucking the, um, BSE came about, the spo bovine spongiform encephalitis, whatever it was, because they had fucking bits of cow in the fucking food of the other cows they were eating, something like that, and they ate that, and it fucking... Bovine, mad cow's disease. Yeah, mad cow's yeah. that's the bovine Sour spongiform hair. encephalitis, yeah. for some reason I know the fucking meaning of it, or the, the words for it. The, all the animals are grouped in together, it's, it's bad. Some, it's drink some beer, shall It's we? bad for disease. Yeah, yeah, it's true, <laughs> it's true. I think, yeah. I think, drink some beer. To be honest, I think if oh. um, if they just like tomorrow said all meat is illegal, I wouldn't be smuggling meat in secretly and becoming a meat yeah. trafficker. I could, I could, I oh. could live without it probably. But I was it's, in Tesco today. It's lazy. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like everything. It's like uh, that goes in. You know, that's easy to, to buy and eat. You know. I feel uh, it's just a moral crusade for yeah. me. So that my, and and uh, like I say, I was in Tesco. Nice stuff. And the amount yeah. of feeding all the terms is in there yeah. is insane. It all costs fucking more though, doesn't it? Not necessarily. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. It, it Welcome to better. Vegan Beer yeah. Hour. Yeah. yeah. This, yeah. Is drinking this drink is fucker. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. What is the ingredients though? Ooh, that's got a couple of different levels of taste going on. There's a little yeah. first taste when you first put it in your mouth. Mm. And when you're drunk, you get like, kind of like it feels like it's affecting different taste parts, different part, different parts of the drinking process. Mm. So first put it in your mouth, you've got one little, oh, I think it was a vanilla taste. I feel like I got a little vanilla taste mm. there for you. Oh, I'd have to say, I've got another mouthful and... Mm. Mm. Definitely a coffee kind of thing yeah. going on as well. So I get a little vanilla mm. uh, at the beginning, and I get a little coffee. I'm not getting any milky kind of any smoothness you often get with the, the, the lactose. Like not a hugely. No, not hugely. I, I think it's called maybe breakfast because it's quite coffee sort of. Yeah, oh yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice though, a fucking oh yeah, it's really nice. Definite yeah. four, really nice. I say at yeah. least a four for me. Yeah, me too. Hmm. No, it's wow. nice. Yeah. Four point five. Yeah, definitely yeah. smooth. <laughs> definitely smooth and malty, sweet. Hmm. Yeah, a little, little sweet. sweet. Bitter though? No, I'm not really getting any bitterness. Free even bitter, is it? Oh. 
No, I'm not really getting a bit in this. Okay, burp in this, not a bit in this. Oh. That burp kind of like brought out the no. taste of the other beers we had before. Oh, that's not You know good. what I mean? No, it's like there's the hoppiness. I'm the... surprised you're not getting bacon burps. Yeah, it might be a little bit as well, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, kudos to uh, Beer 52. We've actually got, it's almost half and half a dark beer. Is it on this one? That's yeah, cool. on this one, so that, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Breakfast toast. I just like the name of this, is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast toast. Yeah. Dundee. Mm. I don't think I actually have it with my breakfast. Oh, is that where it is? Oh, yeah, Dundee. Yeah. yeah, no. I'm, I'm not sure I'd have it for breakfast. Have it on my porridge. <laughs> mm. Maybe a little bit of milkiness. Yeah. The funny thing is, is of course, like I look at the ingredients of a beer, so obviously there's lactose, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not vegan. But you, you could argue there's awful a lot of beers that aren't vegan because they um, fish process, gels. yeah process the um, beer to make it clearer. I think through uh, fish, not not, yeah. not everyone does it. It's, I think it's a bit half and half. Right, but, but it, I'm just really that's surprised. That's actually mentioned though on the on the. Which I think is bad if yeah. you're a vegetarian feeder. Yeah, they should, should, they should they tell should you that there, yeah. so you can make that decision if exactly. you want to. What is that process called? Do you know what they call that? I don't know what it's called, no. It's a very surprising thing because, like, if someone's. Very said, surprising. Yeah, yeah. You'd, like, you'd never heard of that. Yeah. And if, it, if it's only to make the clearness or whatever, then they might as well yeah. bother with it. You know what I mean? It doesn't need yeah. to be clear, does yeah. it? Or, but uh, not every bit, not every beer no. is vegan beer, so like yeah. that are clear. So yeah. I don't see why you need to do it. it must be something they're doing to make it like that. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of hidden things in the meat industry. Don't worry about mm. that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very mm. decent one. Yeah. But has it actually got la Yeah, it's got lactose in You've got lactose in it. Anything that's got lactose is going to be from an animal. It's, it, yeah. It's milk. Yeah. So it's just cow's milk. Now, it's just cow's milk. Yeah. Really, yeah. It, it, it's the... Um, it's not yeah, something... Lact look, lactose yeah. milk. It's not something they get from somewhere else or from some other source so they can... It'd be nice, wouldn't it? But yeah. uh, it's lactose milk. Mm. I love milk. Yeah. It's not good for you though. No. It's, it's not good for you because it's not designed for our bodies. No, it's, it's designed, designed for, for cows. For their babies. Yeah. Why are we sucking on other people's tits? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a fucking tit fiend. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know. When we you should, think about it, it's bizarre, isn't it? Human milk. We yeah. should we should start. What we do when we're young. Yeah, but we should start processing and like, you know, getting. Carry on. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Like bottles of booby right. milk in, and also it would be really cool, right? Get off your tit when you're a bit yeah. older, you don't yeah. need it. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, know, you, keep, you, keep you can put it on your cornflakes and everything. Yeah. And it would be cool because you'd have a picture of the woman whose milk it was on the front. <laughs> Holding a couple of pints like that. With a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, this is Miranda's milk. Oh, yeah, right, Miranda's yeah. my favourite. You can name it. Yeah, yeah. Name you, it you have the name of the woman whose breast yeah. milk it is on there. So that could be our other, uh, you know, because yeah. that would be, be vegan, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, breast, breast milk. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Boobies Milk Company. <laughs> it probably is a cost. I bet yeah, there that. is. There probably is something like that that you could. <laughs> you probably only that costing a lot more though. Because, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, bit of a niche market. Yeah, not half. <laughs> Have you had goat's milk? Yeah, nice. Very good. And goat's cheese. I like goat's cheese. You're not finding very bitter like... goat's milk. Yeah, well, goat's cheese as well, but I like yeah. things like when I used to eat meat, I used to like like really mature cheddar. Like. Right. So goat's milk is like, goat's but, cheese is like super mature, you know? Yeah. But it's just got that really kind of like. Yeah, bitter. Twang almost. Yeah. Like a. Because uh, my. I used to. Oh, you know um, that I've shop over this. the road, yeah. um, the uh, TFC? Yeah. They do camel's milk. Oh, fucking hell. 
Really? It's a, it's about that bit. It's about three pound fifty for about that much. Oh my god! Well, I'm sure you know. Yeah. I've never seen camel's milk. You should buy some. Try it. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> camel's milk. That's kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, don't. Oh no, I'm not gonna say it. I might tell you afterwards. No, say it. No, because it's uh, disgusting. No, but I think in in um, <laughs> Islam in the Muhammad, in ah. the Muslim religion, I think yeah. camel piss is used as a medicine. Oh, I, I think, think Mohammed that, said maybe. that. I'm sure I'm hearing that on a. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to say that if it's wrong and like a get like a jihad against me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who what, said that? What we got? What we got? I should have read this first. I, yeah, I, I opened it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm all. It's just the black colch. Cross borders uh-huh. hop series pale. Not enough lot of information. Light session ale. Uh, Micro brewed in Scotland. Uh, alcohol 3.8, so not too not too strong. Vegan and vegetarian friendly. Thank you. <laughs> and that's pretty much all the information, to be honest, on this one. I got I got more then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cross Borders Brewing Company in uh, Molothian. Molothian. Midlothian. Midlo- I can't. Midlo- Midlothian. I can't even see the eye. Oh. Uh, it's my eyes. Just yeah, yeah. Okay. They're Midlo- Midlothian. They're always on the Scottish. Uh, when they're doing the, the football results from Scotland. Oh, yeah, hard Midlothian. Midlothian. Yeah, hard oh, Midlothian. Midlothian, yeah, yeah. of course. Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh. What was I thinking? Yeah, 3.8 uh, American Palau style. Um, Celtic Rangers 2. Heart of Midlothian. Heart of Midlothian. I can't do it. Four. <laughs> Hop series uh, Pal is an adaption of the very first Palau uh, from their core range. Each batch is unique, yet consistent in flavour. By exploring different dry hop combinations, it, it's ensured that each new batch is exciting and yet familiar. Okay. This batch is brewed with, oh, I've not seen that one before, Equinut and Amarillo hops. Equinut, oh, yeah. or not, Equinut. Equinut. And Amarillo. Amarillo hops. we've had okay. before. Yeah. Equinut is new. So hoppy is big. Oh, very hoppy. Oh, it was a hop series pale, so it's going to be. Yeah, floral right. is four. Fruit is free. We got bitter and smooth at two, malty at one, sour and sweet at naught. Right, so yeah, we're gonna we've got a bittery bittery hop sensation. Yeah. Um not a lot of I like the fact each batch is unique yet consistent in flavour. But it seems like they they experiment with each different batch to make it slightly different, it seems see, like. See, you might be right about this floral malarkey, because there's yeah. that floral and four, there's no smell. No. So I think he's trying to say it's got a flowery, flowery taste. Flowery taste, maybe. I don't I know. Don't know if I've ever experienced <laughs> before that taste Let flowery. us know in the comments. Maybe we need to eat some flowers so we can get like, <laughs> an idea of what flowers taste not, like. There's not any smell, is there? It's nice, no. lovely and clear. Look at that. Make it clear. Right, let's see what it's all about. Oh, oh it's quite different. It's not like them other hoppy beers, is it? It's, it's, it's got yeah. a different sort of... Uh, it has got a different kind of hoppiness to it. Yeah. It's a different... Mm. It's not twangy. It's not so twangy. No, it's not. Or it's got... Uh, I don't talk about the fucking taste yeah. moving around my mouth. I said this, like... Well, the first one felt like it was in the back of my throat. Mm. The other one felt like it was in the roof of my mouth. This one feels like it's at the front of my teeth. Yeah, yeah. Like... It's got quite a smoothy, smooth sort mm. of taste, really. Um... Yeah, slightly. It's got that slightly caramelly taste. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure I'm getting much in the way of way of taste. Just different levels of twang. Mm. But it's it's again it's like it's, it's not unpleasant thicker, at yeah, all. Yeah, it's got a like slightly more. It's not that like um, bat you around the head sort. No, of, uh, definitely not like that. The mother it's weird because it's a, it's got four mm. for hoppiness. It's mm. got more hop. Hoppiness than some of the other ones have, and yeah, just no. makes you think that our idea of what hoppy tastes like is. I also think it's quite smooth tasting. Yeah, yeah it's quite low and smooth, but I, I think it's got quite too smooth. smooth. There, yeah. Ooh. I like this more than um, the other the other two that yeah. we have actually. But I'm not sure if I want to push it up to a three though. Right. Because I, I think I like it more because it's less. The, the twang is less offensive, but equally, it doesn't exactly have any kind of memorable taste to it right. or anything recognisable mm. other than just like a, a slightly twangy water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to yeah. me, it's like. Fair enough. 
Nice I'm probably clear. Scored, nice probably scored clear. three. I might go 2.75. Can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. I would say I like it slightly more than the others. Yeah, it's like it's called Hop Series. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but it's not, even though it says Hops 4, it doesn't, it doesn't taste massively hoppy. No, the other two... Uh, yeah, it uh, tasted uh, more hoppy. Yeah. It's up there. You can, uh, it's not that strong either. Only what was the bitter that. score on the other one? Maybe the other one we're thinking the hoppy is like just bitterness. Mm. Oh, I hear it. Oh, no. no, it's uh, the low and... Uh, that's the 12 up there, right? This way then. He was talking about how much it's easier to work out and he's going the wrong bloody yeah, way. Yeah. Bitter is free on that. So maybe it's bitterness we're getting more than... Mm. And hoppiness. And it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. It was free on that, apparently. And that had more of a twang to us. So yeah. Maybe it's a, a bitterness that we were picking up on rather than a hoppiness. I, I still think it's the hoppiness. Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. One day, yeah. we might learn what the frick we're talking about. Yeah. But that day is not today. <laughs> <laughs> that day is not today. It yeah. may never come, but you know. So I'm going to be annoyed with this beer coming out, the the, the um, Grosch, not Grosch, 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 because Kolsch, because oh, I remember yeah. we worked out what it was, and I'm sure it's like a lager mixed with a, an ale, yeah, get it and out. That's, that's why I bought a computer in, that's why yeah. we did look it up before. I'm sure it's like a, 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 a lager, but brewed like an ale. Mm. Kolsch is yes. a style of beer originating in Cologne, Germany. It has an original gravity between 11 and 16 degrees Plato, <laughs> which is specific gravity of 1.044 or 1.065. In appearance, it's bright and clear of a straw yellow hue. It doesn't really explain what no, it, it is, really. though, does it? It talks about yeast type is top fermenting. Right, okay. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, other than maybe it's because the fact that it was just, maybe it was brewed. Don't know what kind originates of in. Originates in Cologne, that yeah. seems to be the only differentiating factor I'm of it. I'm sure there was something. Uh, crisp, clear, so crisp, delicate, and also drinkable. The German style Kolsch is a beer yeah. hybrid, yeah. meaning that its production and subsequent beer drinking experience saddles both of lager beers and ale beers. Yeah, that's so what I figured. It was a lager ale kind of mix. Kind of style, style. yeah. I, I thought it was something like that. So I think they use the um, uh, lager yeast, but uh, maybe use um, like ale malts or something like that. Was, yeah. yeah, somehow yeah. some kind of magic yes. alchemy that they do. Yeah. But so I'm going to score these. Right, those the first we midway, two. We midway. We midway. Yeah. Aren't we? First yeah. two point five. This one I'm going to say two point five still, but ahead of the other two point fives. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. three. Because yeah. I'm a fucking awkward track. I, I agree. I, I I'm. Uh, <laughs> I that would be my bottom at the moment. Yeah. Uh, these two really, and that was good. And uh, that yeah, will definitely more than likely be my top three at the end. Yeah. I'm surprised if it's not. Not as nice as some of the other yeah. Uh, yeah. stouts we've had though. Not as memorable as some of the other stouts because there wasn't a massive lot of going on, yeah. was there? It was an awful lot of lot coffee. Of, yeah. Um, no, I think it was a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. I think it was possibly a vanilla flavour yeah. that I was getting. But yeah, yeah but good pleasant, very pleasant, yeah. but not like, I'd definitely drink more than one if it was oh, on the yeah. tap. Oh, yeah. But some of the other ones we've had previously, mm. like the nutty ones and the coffee ones, yeah. uh, yeah, and the, the smoky one we had, that one, that yeah, cool. they've been more pleasurable. Oh yeah, uh, we will have to go. But to use, to, use a, to, to use a woman analogy, I wouldn't kick it out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we pause while you go to the toilet, or should I just... Uh, Get out of there, don't Should I talk about it while you're... Uh, um, yeah. Try not to tinkle too hard, because we don't want to hear you tinkling on the... On, on camera. On camera. Right, Fallen Brewing, a Wanganui Kiwi Pale Ale, 4.6% volume. Uh, low bitterness, hopped with Hula Melon and Taiheki for a fruity tropical flavour and finished with a kiwi edition for aromas of ripe kiwi fruit. The ripe like kiwi. Oh, it's actually got kiwi fruit in it though, it's actually an ingredient. Malted barley, hops, yeast, kiwi fruit and water. Uh, and a burp. 
100% natural. This beer is naturally carbonated and unfiltered for maximum texture, flavour and aroma. Store upright and pour carefully if you prefer to leave the yeast sediment in the can. What have we got, sir? Oh, kiwi no. paella. It's actually got kiwi in it as one of the ingredients. Uh, oh, really? Kiwi oh, fruit actual is kiwis. actually in it, yeah. We thought it was New Zealand or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, kiwi fruit is from New Zealand, isn't it? That's why well, it's called kiwi fruit. I guess, I don't know. Oh, I imagine so. Do you like so. a kiwi? But is it still made in, the, in Scotland? Uh, yeah, Sterling. Sterling, Sterling. Yeah. Sterling. Yeah. yeah. So it's nothing to do with like having... I think it's not got a New Zealand ye uh, yeast or hops or nothing. One of the other ones they had earlier, the New Zealand mm. uh, hops did, didn't This it? one has... Ah, uh, you know what? I oh, know, hang on. You've lost it? No, no. Read. This is the first beer that's actually got some tasting notes in, in here. Oh, it's different to what's here. Yeah, I don't know if it... If, is no, that the same? Think... Uh, no, no, that's, that's, all new, that's all new stuff. Fallen Brewery Company um, uh, lives in the old Kippen Railway Station at the foot of the Garganook <laughs> and the uh, Fintry Hills in rural Stirlingshire. Never heard of them. No. They brew modern uh, inter interpretations. Interpretations, uh, interpre yeah. Oh, sorry. Of classic styles with an emphasis on bold flavours and new world hops. Since opening in 2014, the brewery has received many accolades and awards for their modern classic beers. I'm not the great... Well, you've got to understand this. I'm not totally retarded. Sometimes I just don't see the words. Yeah, I know. Eyes. I know. You, you Honest. Um, I need my glasses. All right, tasting notes. Uh, easy drinking parallel brewed with huil. Yeah. Lemon. We had that before. Ooh, didn't we? Yeah, huil. Yeah. And... Uh, Taiheki? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had to have that idea. Yeah. Taiheki. It sounds it, that sounds like it's Maori. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Flavor flavors of ripe kiwi fruit perfectly complements the uh, subtle melon and tropical fruit hot flavors. Gentle and fresh and hot bitterness finished with brings which brings you back for more. We'll see. We'll, we'll, see we'll, like we'll tell you if it brings us back for more. Don't yeah. you try and order us around. Yeah. But it's definitely not. The name is yeah. very Kiwi. Yeah, isn't it? Wanganui. Yeah. The sounds. Yeah. Well, it's got cool. kiwi fruit in it. So it's quite really, cloudy. It's quite a weird one for that. Mm. So it's like, you yeah. make, kind of make it someone in, in uh, New Zealand and they're yeah. going, I know, let's put some haggis in this. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. not, that's not a New Zealand accent. But uh, <laughs> that's kind of a Scottish accent, but whatever, yeah. I don't know. Right, let's have a look at the circle. We got fruit is the highest. Okay, we've well, got kiwi in it, so it yeah. should be. We got floral, smooth, bitter, hoppy at three. Right. And we got malty, sweet at two. No and sour. And poor old sour. And no sour never gets a look in, does it? Never, never gets, gets a look in. in. Get more sours in there, like I'm, I'm, I'm not a fruit eater. The only fruit I eat is pears. I, I, I you like a pear. pear. I like I a pear. I still them fucking pears. Yeah. I had one. Right I had good, one. good. I mean, I forgot about them. Yeah. Oh, I went to eat, I went to take them with me to Lisa's, but um, I, like I think they're still okay. I like a nice juicy pear. Oh. But um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is. I think it's psychological. It's the yeah. only fruit I like. Juicy pear. Yeah, so I can say nice juicy pear. <laughs> Same as when I say my favourite animal is a rhino because it's big, grey, and horny like me. But I didn't mean that when I was a kid. <laughs> but it was still my favourite animal. But I think subconsciously, maybe my mind was thinking, oh, in the future, I could be, I could yeah. make up a really stupid thing about this. Uh, I don't know. Right. Probably wasn't, but. <laughs> Mm. Well, but where was, where was I going with that? I don't particularly like fruit, so I was thinking kiwi. Yeah, but you know, well, I can't yeah. taste any kiwi or fruit. I don't know what kiwi tastes like. I've never eaten it. Oh, kiwi's nice. It's like it's like a little it's green. Like, it's like a fucking tiny green bollock. Yeah, it's a green it's furry bollock. bollock it's it? just <laughs> like it looks like a tomato, a green tomato almost. But it's like a consistency of avocado. But it's nice, I like kiwis, but mm. this doesn't taste of kiwis. A horrible green inside, like all seeds in that. Mm. I've got to say though. See, kiwis are quite sour. Mm, okay. But not this, not unlike mm. this. Uh, this mm. This is alright though. This is like. It's nice, it do not taste of kiwis, but no. it's alright. I'm not saying I'm getting any like fruit in this or not even any hop in this particularly. It doesn't taste very hoppy. Fruit is on four, I, I, I don't think it particularly tastes fruity. Mm. Not bad, though. Mm. 
it's, it's, it says uh, um, emphasis on bold flavours. It, it's quite, it is quite bold actually. Do you think so? Mm, it's quite. I find it completely the opposite of bold. Be honest, what? I'm like I'm not More getting hoppy. No, I'm not getting what? much of a twang, a hoppy twang mm. to it. But it's just like flavours of ripe kiwi fruit. Mm. I don't, feel, I don't think I'm getting yeah. any kiwi. I don't feel any kind of like fruitiness. Melon, tropical fruits. But it's I like it's not it's unpleasant. Mm. It's not unpleasant. I think it's. Mm. I, I might go. But it's kind I of think like, the boldness is just the hoppiness. Yeah, it's non I, I think it's more nondescript. To be honest, mm. it's like. I'm drinking it, it's, it's like, it's, it's cold, it's a bit kind of refreshing, but it's not hitting me with any massive flavours. Can you, can you that, taste uh, any melon? <laughs> melons. <What? laughs> oh yeah, pet. Oh, yeah. What a nice pair of melons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any melon? No. You don't? No. I think so. I no. think so. Maybe it's um, a little hint of fruitiness. We get... Um, well, I'm annoyed, it's not important, but we <laughs> we sort of get slightly annoyed when they keep comparing stuff to fruit and you can't yeah. taste it. Uh, I sort of like, th that side of things is a bit like the uh, slightly uh, I think it's for people, side uh, of yeah. things. Yeah. Is it even that was for the more... Um, Experienced, palette. professional yeah. taste of yeah. it, but, um, yeah. but I don't really... Uh, let's let's face it, they've got to say it tastes like something. To, mm. If they if they was to use our... our so no one would buy it. No, no one would buy it. Cause it tastes it, hoppy. It tastes kind of like, thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's not, not really, but... Yeah. Um, but sort of like. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we're able to sell shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got very yeah. um, professional. We just yeah. like getting pissed, as I said. Yeah, we'd be like, see this beer? Hoppy yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Buy it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, your, that's what we're going to do. When we do our company, uh, Pleasant, Pla Pleasant Plucker... Yeah. Yeah. When we do our first Placker Brewing Company, we'll have, we'll have, we'll do our own tasting notes on it. Yeah. And then you'll be like, I'm going to say things like, we just kind of threw the hops in at the end. Yeah. You know, know we don't know the fuck we were playing now. We yeah. just won't fuck it. We don't even, we never even wrote down how we did it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only batch you can get on this one. Because we fucking Super forgot. Rare. We forgot how it was done. Yeah. That probably goes on a lot. Possibly. Yeah. And then you sort of finesse it and go, see if we can create that again. Ooh. That was good. So like my mum used to do fucking we'll homemade awful. wine. Yeah. My mum did homemade wine. She made this carrot and ginger one. Yeah. And you think, carrot and ginger? And uh, yeah, uh, she wine, forgot man. about it. She fucking made it up. She was, she was probably drunk when she was doing it because you'd have a few yeah. where you was doing it. And like, it was sitting there for a while. And it was fucking, oh, it was fucking nectar. It yeah. was, oh man, it was like a spirit. Yeah. I don't know how, but it was like, I literally had about half a glass and I'm like, ooh. Chicks are feeling a bit yeah. numb, yeah. and it was fucking gorgeous. And if she'd written it down, yeah, that's the oh thing. Oh man, it was just a really. I, I've actually pure, used that. Yeah, um, she I, had a few shit ones on the way. The first yeah. one that she did was she did some pear ones. Room, she did some pear room. ones, and it was fucking black. Yeah, and I think I was about fifteen at the time. Me and my cousin, we just mm. were like, well, it's fucking alcoholic. Let's get pissed. Mm. Like, I'm this like black pear wine. <laughs> well, Gemma. Um, um, Brews uh, like home, home kits now, like at home. Like uh, I know Lucy used to do like ciders and pears. She hasn't done anything like that for a while, because right? yeah. like, they're good. But yeah, there's a big batch ready for Christmas, and, and sometimes they're quite good. Get, get, give us some for yeah. us. You know, we can do we're having the cheap uh, beer guys. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you never know how strong they are. Mm. Um, That's true. But yeah, I remember I, I, I got into doing the beer kits for a little while. It's yeah. A bit, I can't be asked for it. It's a bit, a lot of work, really. Yeah. I mean, it's only work. I mean, it's great in the long run. You like, you know, it's about five p.m. Yeah. Or something. It never like, tastes that nice, though. Not, not really. really beers, yeah. don't really taste but it. I remember the first one I done was really nice, yeah. and I, never, I was never that's able cool. to replicate yeah, 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 that first yeah, yeah. one. I don't know why. It's a, it's a fucking magic art. That's why yeah. it's alchemy, like I said. Yeah. <clears throat> alchemy, I tell you. Mm. Yeah, this one. It's great if you want really cheap beer. You know what was a really good, um, I used to brew the, um, the beer, you brew the beer in a big fucking uh, plastic container, plastic, like, yeah. and then, uh, and then you, you bottle them, the perfect bottles were, you know, the gross bottles yeah. with the uh, lids. Yeah, yeah, Mom, I think it was something like that I can go on Perfect, kind of thing. Yeah. perfect for brewing, because yeah. uh, unlike a sort of like, um, completely sealed top that might explode, it, it had enough, 
Yeah, it, it sealed it, but enough give. They yeah. were perfect. The Grosch bottles, the old Grosch bottles, mm. were perfect for home brewing. This is another middle one for me. Mm. Another middle one. I don't mind this. Mm. Um, it's sort of, I'm more likely to have a second second pint of this. I think more Not likely too bad. to have a second. Let's try it. Uh, I'll go for. A, I'll go for a three. Yeah, I'm probably a three with this as well. I was tempted to say 2.5, but ahead of the other ones. But I think this is like... I don't know, it's weird though. It's like... Mm. Not I sure think it's got a little, a little fruitiness to mm. it. Yeah. A little insinuation of, of fruitiness. But, but uh, you know, I, I if you're saying it take, it's got kiwi and it's got mm. melon, and I kind of want to mm. taste that mm. a little bit more, to be honest. But yeah, but not bad at all. Oh. No, well, the, thing, the, the best thing is it's got no horrible twang to it. Mm. Which makes me fucking think that we haven't got a clue what hoppiness is. Yeah. It's got free hoppiness. Yeah. What the fucking um, hop? We need to buy some hops and. Hoppy is four. Oh no, sorry, it's three. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah I'm looking one wrong. One wrong. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, but in a way that's right because it wasn't severely hoppy. It no, but I just wonder if we don't know what hoppiness tastes like. I don't know. Because uh, fruity is supposed to be more than hoppiness, but. Mm. Oh, fuck no. Do you remember last month uh, that wheel? Uh, most of the time I think the wheels are pretty much correct, but remember that, that time that wheel we found was completely it. It was like, wrong? Yeah, that's, yeah, like... that's what makes me think that we haven't got a bloody clue. Well, we don't it? have a clue. We but, don't. But we do like our yeah. beer. We're a pair of fucking long mm. head hairy twats and haven't um, got a bloody clue. I have to mention actually, um, uh, B52, uh, watch our shows. Yeah. Um, because we said it to him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you got no choice. Yeah. Um, watch our bloody show! Watch our show! But um, they were going on about like um, sending us codes to promote something. Promote their company, I'm really yeah. not sure what it was, but uh, they never got back to me. No. So if you want to. Do that. Hopefully, and, they will in the future. We'll yeah. be happy to uh, send out some. I'm assuming they it's stuff. basically to sell their, their stuff. Yeah. So it'll be clothes and people will probably get like a first box for cheaper or something like that. That'd be cool. Yeah. 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 We're quite happy to do that. We're I think. very happy yeah. to do that. Right. Well, we got Harvest Town Brewery, Old mm. Engine Oil, Black yeah. Ale. Black Crafted Ale. in Scotland since 1983. 6% alcohol in my volume. Uh, rich, bittersweet velvet. Mm. Um, Award winning black ale. Down your tools and take a <laughs> swig of this classic black ale. Beautifully engineered with premium roasted malt for a velvety mouthfeel. It's proper vintage stuff. All thanks to meticulous handiwork from our master brewers. Got barley, oats. Actually, just serve at room temperature. Best served at room temperature. Okay. And we fucked that up, haven't we? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nah, yeah, but that was a lie. Yeah. Okay, well, I got I got a lot of different stuff here. Cool. So yeah, this is the Harvest Stone Brewery what was that? from Alva. 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 Don't know where that is. Never heard of it. That's um, not like a that's not like a a, Ch uh, a Shetland Isle or something like that. Orkney, it? yeah. Orkney, we got Orkney is coming out. No, we got Orkney coming out. Alva. I think that might be another one of them little islands. I mean, yeah. I look at where you you. Uh, Oh, no, no, it's oh. in London. <laughs> oh, that's not funny, yeah. right, surely. Harveston Beer, uh, Harvest Downs Brewery. Harvest Downs, I've heard yeah. that name as well, Harvest oh, really? Downs, yeah. Isn't just made of malt, hops and barley, it's made of Scotland. <laughs> it's made of Scotland. Uh, the untamed environment that surrounds the brewery, they have been nestled at the foot of the dramatic Ochil Hills. Yeah, Ochil, yeah, it's just, or yeah, yeah. Hills, maybe, mm. in Scotland since 1983 and crafted award-winning beers for all to enjoy. Harvest Down is an independent brewery that has always focused on quality of the beer. We've got tasting notes, a rich full-bodied black ale with a thick, dark, chocolatey viscosity. Viscosity, wow, yeah. Wow. Roasted malt gives it a... Uh, viscosity, that's chewy, mate. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's Roast got the molasses <laughs> yeah. kind of stuff. Roasted malt gives it a rich black colour and plenty of oats get, uh, give it a wonderful velvety mouthfeel. It looks fucking nice actually. Flavours of coffee, dark old. chocolate and bittersweet aftertaste. Oh, this could be a fucking good one. This could be a banger. I haven't finished pouring yet. We got Malty at four. Oh, nice. Uh, smooth at four. We got sweet and bitter at three. We got fruit and hoppy at one and sour and four at naught. 
I think you got fucking more head on your one by accident. I thought That's it was. Right, mate. I thought it was porn. Like, yeah, I got fucking like it's really it's kind of like confu- annoying sometimes. Like, you, mm. it's if I hold it like that, it looks like I've got the same. So amount. it's weird that it's called a blackout. Why, why is it just not a stout? Yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's yeah, it's You got mass. It's weird how it works. You got massive head in your mouth. It's about level. Yeah, it does happen that way. I like, know, but sometimes fun. you pour it and you put more in. You get a big head. Yeah. And it doesn't settle. It seems to settle into into beer. But only Alva is in Clackmannanshire. I've never even fucking heard of Clackmannanshire. No, great name though. Clackmannanshire. Fucking hell. The central lowlands of Scotland. Oh, it's the lowlands. Yeah, okay. lowlands. there's nowhere nowhere mm. near like the islands. No. Low is the. Well, when it comes to Scotland, yeah, is the Highlands further north and the Lowlands further, or is it to do with hills what and mountains? What do you think, mate? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like I mean, the Highlands is the north the, and Lowlands. The highest, right. Lowlands is south of the Glasgow and Edinburgh. Right. I August. did wonder about that. I've always wondered, because I was wondering if it was to do geography with, like, north mm. and south, yeah. being Highlands and Lowlands. Or the where, Highlands is literally Or whether it was to do part. with the mountainous... So, uh, mm. you know. No, it, it's like a county. The right. county is literally called the Highlands. Right, yeah. So it's not actually to do with, to do with height. It's no, although, with although ironically, yeah. there are, it's where More the mountains are. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. You learn things yeah. every day. <laughs> right, so what was this again? Uh, old engine oil. Yeah. This has got quite a good name. It kind of looks, like smell, but it looks a little like much. old engine oil, I suppose. Yeah, no smell. But got a little hint of malt. Yeah, not a lot, though. No. Mm. Six percent as well. Um, oh yeah, reminds you of that beer we had earlier. It's got that strong taste to it, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, Ooh. oh dear. Oh yeah. Mm. It's quite sweet. That's quite good. That's the alcohol. Ooh. Funny enough, not a massive Ooh. taste. But like a nice little, it's got like a malty twang rather than a hoppy twang. It's almost, yeah. got, almost got a twang of maltiness. Mm. And there's a mouse on the front <laughs> cover. <clears throat> yeah, it's got, um, yeah, it's kind of, um, I think it's the strength as well. It's got like, it's got that kind of slightly, um, Barley wine taste because mm. it's quite strong. I've looked up Harvest Down. Apparently, it, it's, it's, it all comes up with the brewery, so maybe I hadn't heard of Harvest Town before. I thought Harvest Town was a place in Scotland. I thought I'd heard the name Harvest right, Town no, previously. Just a brewery, I but guess. it's just coming up as uh, mm, a brewery. brewery. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it, I like it. It's a bit heavy. Mm. I find it a bit heavy because of the strength. Yeah. I don't know if I'm actually finding that at chewy and or getting any kind of coffee out of it. It's got like a, mm. it's more like a twang of maltiness than um, like a viscosity kind of yeah, resin. Yeah, great, like, great word. Yeah. I don't know, it's got, a, it's got a bit of chewiness going on, I think so. It stays in the mouth a bit. Very, very strong now. I, I, I like it, but... I'm finding it almost warming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a winter beer for sure. Yeah. It, um, I think um, I would struggle to drink more, though, mm. than a pint. I think it would be a bit heavy. In, in the same way that a hoppy beer is like maybe too hoppy to have another pint, this yeah. would be too, too, uh, too sweet and too uh, heavy, I think, for another pint. But it's, it's, it's not bad at all, though. I think... Mm. Um... Hmm. Yes. Maybe a three, three point five for me. I'm right. thinking three point five. I don't know. Mm. Maybe, maybe three point five. Because mm. I'm not really getting an awful lot of tastes from it. Just you got that kind of that, you know, like you say, you have got the strength. Mm. Like you know, I'm talking about. I feel that like someone's different being affect different parts of my mouth. This mm. feels like it's affecting my eyes. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's, it's like I'm it's feeling, affecting my eyes. I'm feeling it in my, my eyes. eyes. I'm feeling it in my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking lunatic. I, yeah. I took some crap. <laughs> My eyes. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it does feel oh. strong. It feels. Oh yeah. Possibly even feels yeah. stronger than six percent. Yeah. 
It's rather good though. Don't mind it. So it's our second dark beer, isn't it? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not really finishing off. But it is, it's, it's not. Actually. Uh, actually, saying that, we're saying that it's a black ale, not a black stout. I know but what, it doesn't. Right, what the difference is. No, but I don't. Uh, tastes uh, like a stout to me. Do you think it tastes like a stout? Yeah. I think it's got a slightly one. different character to what yeah. we normally have as a stout, which maybe <coughs> works making it an ale <coughs> rather no, than a stout. It hasn't got that, hasn't got that kind of um, roasted maybe yeah. sort of taste that a stout might have. Yeah. Fucking, I, uh, we need to we need to just yeah. do some research. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just see if I can look up difference between ale and stout. Difference. You may I think stouts are roasted longer, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, but you know, I would have thought. Anything dark would be yeah yeah a stout. I mean that's what I learned is uh, basically the longer you roast your yeah the, the darker it becomes. A uh, ale, which is often described as robust, fruity, and hearty, is made from top fermenting yeast. Right. Stout, which is richly flavoured, dark and heavy, is made from pale malt, caramel malt, and unmalted barley. Unlike ale, stout is a darker beer. Mm. Stouts are also strong when compared to ale. So it could be something to do with the malts, couldn't it? A different mm. type of malt. Yeah, so this so. is made dark, not necessarily through maltiness. Yeah. I would say this fruitiness is... Mm. Uh, yeah. But it's obviously maybe, maybe, it's the, 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 maybe it's to do with the yeast. Maybe it's got top yeah. fermenting yeast. That's why it's considered to be an, an ale, ale. Yeah. rather than a stout. Yeah, it just... What yeah. was it with malty? It was quite high, very high on malty, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, far on malty. Mm. It's good, but it's heavy. Mm. It's heavy. But is it? Oh, fucking hell! Is it heavy because it's our um, our eighth beer already? Maybe or do you reckon? Oh yeah, if I had this first, first, first it's so heavy. Yeah. but I can still tell. You know, that it's a heavy beer. Yeah. yeah. Still, it's still nice though. Yeah, but I, I would definitely have a second. Mm. But it'd be one of those ones where if there was something else on, I may try the other one instead. Mm. Like you say, it's it's not. I think I prefer the breakfast. Yeah, I think place. I do. It's a bit more character going on with it. A little bit more, almost like a variation, like a different alphabet of taste jumping yeah. through your mouth. Whereas this is not quite so so much character with it, but. Ah. It says uh, rich, bittersweet, and velvet. That's fair, dudes. That's fair enough. Bittersweet. Uh, yeah, it's a taste of sweetness. Mm. It's one of them special beers you uh, might just uh, have one bottle. Um, I, I suspect. The funny thing is, is um, like the beer. The beers average out around three pounds. Yeah. I bet you any money if you bought this a shop, it would be more than three pound. Yeah, I just got more a, expensive. I, yeah, I just got a feeling something like this, like that strength yeah. and that rarity would be. So uh, you know, fair dues to beer fifty two. I think some of these beers w would actually probably cost more. Yeah. If you bought it in your local offy, you know. Mm. <laughs> you got no northern. Yeah. Not northern enough. Not I saw a Scottish beer, man. It's it's driven me northern. It's taking me into Yorkshire. Oh, we've got the black col colch left, and we've got that sweet mild yeah. stout. Should we go for the black colch? Yeah, let's go black colch. I think uh, yeah, I think we've done all right. They, they, they said four light and four dark. Yeah. The four yeah. light have been. That's the first time. Yeah, the four light have all been all right. Yeah. There's nothing where I've gone. Wah, yeah, I wouldn't fucking drink this again. <laughs> I think that's a struggle. Another <laughs> struggle, yeah. yeah Did yeah. he hate struggle for you? Uh, it was a little. I just thought it was. I thought it was a little bit different to the one before. Do you think that was a bit struggle? Blackout was a struggle it, for it's, you. It was a struggle, but a, a nice struggle. <laughs> that that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Is it, was it struggle more because of the fact we've had a few beers where you maybe it was maybe, a cumulative of? It's the type of um, strong. Kind of it's dark ale. I'm not a huge fan of right. you know, when it, when it's um, really sweet, really alcoholic. Mm. I didn't mind. Yeah. I didn't mind it, but yeah, oh, but it was like oh, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we've had dark ones. It's been nicer, mm. I would say. Like bottled and brewed, so brewed and bottled. Tempest Brewing Company, 
Tweed Bank, Scottish Borders. Yeah. Uh, ingredients, beer, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, yeast. Wow. Um, 4.8. Yeah. It's, it's got a list, a list of the malts in it. Uh, oh, that's cool. GP. Right. Munich, Crystal, Chocolate. Crystal malts, I think. Carafa, Free. Yeah. Hops is Columbus. Okay, not heard of that one. Yeast is Kolsch yeast. Okay. Uh, oh my Kolsch! <laughs> this is a Cologne style <laughs> ale with a heart of darkness. Don't be fooled. This has all the crisp, delicate, refreshing trademarks of a cold fermented Kolsch with a twist of dark malt and dark arts. Ooh. Okay, is that it? Can I just. Illustrate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric leaves his glass. Yeah, a long way. The furthest up. possible <laughs> way. <from, from, laughs> okay. An awkward it, bastard, yeah. that's what it is. In their short history, they've made a name for themselves as a craft beer innovators in a sea of other breweries. The beers they, have, uh, the, the beers they make reflect their history and their vision as a brewery. Their relentless and fierce dedication to high quality production and ingredients is in every cask, keg and bottle that leaves their new 30HL Brewery in Tweed Bank, not sure what that means. Okay. Tempest Brewing Company take their inspiration from all over, from the local produce on their doorstep to the fresh hops of New Zealand, okay. to the craft beer pioneers, pioneers of North America. Tasting notes. Well, quite a few, fair few New Zealand ones in, in yeah. New Zealand hops or was it yeah. New hops on New Zealand more? Hops, hops, yeah. Strange. This is a cologne style ale with the heart of darkness. Vegan friendly. Thank you very much. What lies beneath the crisp, delicate, refreshing trademarks of a cold fermented Kolsch is something much darker. Expect the unexpected flavours of chocolate, roasted malt, pine and hint of spice. Okay. So we got four for smooth, we got three for bitter, hoppy and malt, hoppy's quite high, hmm. and fruit, and four is two, poor old sour is not. Not any sour, any of these. Mm. I love the, the actual label on this one, it's a fucking really cool. thing of beauty actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really cool label. Mm. We have to remember now, right, next time when we see Kolsch, we're both going to say, oh, Kolsch, that's kind of lager and, and yeah, ale. Yeah, we, know, yeah. we know what we're talking about. We know what the yeah. fuck we're talking about. It's only our seventh, eighth, yeah. whatever the fucking show it is. But I quite like the description, but the description doesn't always match up to the actual yeah. taste, does it? I like you get that Saison beer, which is like uh, the style of Saison. Saison? Like, yeah, I've never really worked out what the hell that is. It actually smells mm. almost like a, like a fruity, hoppy sort of beer. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that smell. Mm. Right. Fruit is free. Right, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a dark beer at all. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Mm. It is fruity. Spicy, I'd say. Yeah, I, it's I spicy, think, yeah. I feel a bit sp it's weird. You know, mention spice. Once again, I talk about fucking how it affects different parts of my mouth. This one I feel in my lips somewhere, like, mm. in the back of my <laughs> lip. I feel like a little spicy twang yeah. running around the back of my lips after I... Do you know what, what I notice about um, doing these beer shows? The first taste is almost the most important because mm. it's the... It's the virgin taste. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like the most important. And you kind of can become an old to the taste after the first mouth. Yeah. Your, your mouth doesn't... It's used to it after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, really quickly. And it doesn't have the same kind of feel. It does mention the spice in this. Yeah, I did get mm. a definite little hint of... It doesn't taste dark to me, though. Hot, kind of hot spicy, slightly yeah. hot spicy. It doesn't taste like a dark beer, though. It, like, it definitely... doesn't taste like a... Light beer though, to murder, like, bit, uh, bit in between maybe. I think so. Yeah. No, I think this has got, uh, to me, I think it's got a, a dark feel to it. It's interesting, it's an interesting... Uh, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's, it's... To me, oh, yeah, I like, if this was a light beer, I would um, be like, yeah, it's a light beer. Oh, I'm not getting light beer. No? You can taste the darkness? Yeah, maybe, a little not, bit, as, maybe. not as malty as you No. 
I'm getting you as you say, I don't think it's quite as malty. Quite high, but you're though, obviously picking it. up on the lager flavours of it because it's um, the lager ale mix. Yeah, I'm picking up on the sort yeah, of hoppiness. It hasn't fruitiness. got a feel of like a thick viscosity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a good one. <laughs> of like stout. I prefer or... chewy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking bastards. <laughs> No, it's, not, it's, it's interesting, very yeah. interesting. It's so, alright, it's alright. What was the strength? 4.8. Okay. I, I personally I wouldn't think it was a dark beer though. If I had a blind test, I yeah, would think I, it was a light beer. I kind of wish we'd kind of had done a blind test. Yeah. Mm. Well, I suppose it has got that hint of like the hoppiness of, the, of a light beer. Yeah. Yeah, not quite so much. It's, 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 I don't mind this at all, actually. I don't mind it's this all right. at all. It's alright. It's alright. bank. At the moment, I'd say this would be my third place. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, not for me. What, you reckon that some of the lighter ones are... Uh, uh, oh, maybe. I don't know. I'd have, we'd have to... Well, yeah. One more to go, so... Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll Look, that. we can't have fucking scores the same this, this month. Yeah, we're, we're exactly, month the exactly the same. Last month exactly the same. It's just, it's just not on. It's not right. It's like it's like two women whose periods are bloody well. Uh, you know, they, the women's periods they I love, I love these they languages. align with each other, don't they? And they have periods in the same month, same week. If they like get to know each other well, you never heard that women's period aligned if they're good if they're good friends. If we start aligning our beer taste, it'd be like we're two women whose periods are. These analogies are worrying. <laughs> you won't live here for fucking two weeks. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh dear, dear. <laughs> and it's got an amia, 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 it's umlau 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 <laughs> gosh the most heavy metal of uh, yeah. a Brit of a um, no it's got two of them not abbreviations not pronunciations what are they called umlaus no but what's the the thing the, the thing. punctuation the uh -huh. punctuation uh -huh. Yeah, but four, full stops, commas, speech marks. They're yeah, all that. The, punctuation, aren't they? Maybe. Punctuation marks. I think so. Yeah, maybe. It's been a long day. <laughs> <sighs> to think, I, I started my day doing an assessment for a job and an oh. interview. Oh. Finished the day getting pissed with this twat. It's <laughs> oh. awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Punctuation mark. Yeah, punctuation mark. Yeah. Umlau is a punctuation mark. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know there's a heavy there's a few heavy metal bands actually called Umlau. <laughs> Is there's one band called Umlau, Umlau. And every single letter of their name Umlau has got Umlau <laughs> yeah. over it. Oh my God. Really? Yeah. Things he knows. Yeah. Things he knows about me. Oh man, it fucking amused the heck out of me, what I say. Yeah. Umlau, because it, it, it makes the um, pronunciation different, doesn't it? Yeah, but not in, head, so head. Not in heavy metal, though. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't work in heavy metal. Nah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Like Tom Angel Ripper from Sodom is, uh, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Angle Ripper or something, because he's got yeah. the uh, umlau over the A. I had a Swedish girlfriend for a while told me it should be Angle Ripper. Angle Ripper. Something like that. Angle so, Ripper. I think so. But... Mor morbid Angle. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. Not at all. Um, well, what would you score this one? Do you think? I, I, I'd probably go three. Um, I think I'll go three point five. Mm. I think so. Very rarely goes higher than me. Very rarely. <laughs> Very rarely. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know, maybe I, I think maybe I get more generous with my scores when I'm pissed. Yeah. When I'm more pissed, I get yeah. the more generous I get. Oh, it's a six! Yeah. <laughs> We're only scoring out of five. I don't care! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the more he got pissed, the more he's mm. acceptable with my uh, uh, final records on that is as well. <laughs> <laughs> when we get for your final. Yeah, like, yeah, it's funny. I love Queen, I do! <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're more acceptable for my. Uh, <laughs> Potentially uh, embarrassing final. <laughs> no, I'm not embarrassed. <clears throat> I might have to go for another. Uh, another thing. piss. Uh, it's a bit unprofessional, isn't it? Oh, God, what are you? Your, your bladder, you know, you've got to answer to your bladder's call, mate. Uh, 
Heed the call, like, is it, uh, is that, is that matter what? Heed in the call, no, that's, uh, um, more, more than me. No, it's not matter what, it's, um, oh, how about Heed in the call, one and for all, la da 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 da, mm. something or other. <laughs> so I you've got to hear the call of your bladder because I heard the latest Hammerfall um, album or single and I thought it was fucking awful yeah <laughs> so it's just uh, they never did it for me Hammerfall but you know I got into a bit of power metal because Dawn liked yeah. power metal a lot yeah she did and then yeah. symphonic metal she liked yeah. a lot didn't she yeah. I, got, like, I got really into Nightwish yeah. I, I never used to like him then when I sort of I watched the original singer? With no, no, no I like the new one. Right, okay. I like the uh, uh, Floor or something. Right, yeah. Like, Floor uh, Hanson. Yeah. Or I actually really like her, like how right. she do, how she delivers. Because she has the operatic voice, but she yeah. has a kind of metal voice as well. She's able to like do a bit of both. Have you heard the Taj, the Taj or um, Nightwish? Like yeah, Taj oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's, She's very operatic. I yeah. Thought. She's pretty cool. But I, I was never really into the symphonic... Right. Metal thing, but then I remember seeing that Bloodstock, I thought they were amazing. Mm. And um, I actually played, um, they got a live album coming out at the moment, but um, live in Buenos Aires. Well, okay. But no, they're, they're alright actually. Buenos Aires! Uh, more powerful than I expected. Yeah. Are you uh, slashing old bean? Yes, yeah, sorry. You go for sorry. a slash there, and I shall. This is another Vo 5%. Mm. Orkney, hand brewed. Oh, that's you know where Orkney is. Yeah, up north for the islands, isn't it? Yeah, the North Islands, like you got the, the most northerly, right? Yeah. Sweet milk stout. You ever drink this from next month? No, sorry. Swanee Brewery, called Vo. It's got crossbones on it, and it's got a very colourful. Um, you would not think that was a stout. I was saying earlier, it looks like it's got the rainbow of the the you know gay pride movement. Swanny Brewery. It's nice and colourful though, they don't, they don't mind it. Vo, a sweet milk stout with plenty of roast malt and coffee flavours. From the complex malt bill in Arcadian, a Vo is a small creek or bay. Okay. So that's Arcadian, I suppose, is to do with the Orkneys. So, a Vo is a small creek or bay in, in Orkney. Lovely. I'm not too sure what the crossbones are about. Uh, Swan A Brewery was born out of Rob Hill's passion for beer. Since 2006, we've been brewing in a barn on, Haw on Orkney's remote northwesterly tip, an area known as Swan A. Our mutiny range, devised by Rob's son Lewis, both complements and contrasts Swan A's core offerings. This is Viking beer. Oh, good. And uh, Vo was awarded a silver medal. How the fuck do you say them words? I know. That's and the coveted International Brewing Awards in 2019. Cool. Natural beer, unfiltered and unpasteurised. Best drunk fresh. Do not age. Cool. You okay. have any, any different notes? Oh, yeah, I have, I think. Um, yeah, a rustic farm brewery located in rural Orkney. One of the most acclaimed Scottish breweries of recent years, with near countless national and international awards. Cool. Established by esteemed brewer Rob Hill in 2004, Swan A Brewery focuses on drinkable classic beers and more recently modern styles while using as many local ingredients as possible. We've got some tasting notes. Not sure about the uh, can colour. No. You need to work it's on that. It's different. You know? No, it's different. You like it's it colour, different? Yeah, yeah. Colourful. You were like you say, we did, we'd never have guessed this was a, a dark no. beer. We didn't even know at the time, did we? No. We were showing it. I'd, you'd think it was like a, a, a blinking, hoppy, bloody yeah. IPA or something. Pal malt, crystal malt, roast barley, oats and lactose combined with uh, mostly noble. Mostly noble, okay. Bar a little Chinook. Hops right. for a smooth, sweet, slightly roasting, ever so tingly, tingly <laughs> hoppy lactose oat stout. Wow. Foey is Orcadian. Orcadian for creek or bay. So that's uh, What's or, Orcadian? An Orkney word. Orkney word. Like Orcadian must be yeah, referred Orkney, to Orkney, yeah. yeah. And there's this Orcs from Middle Earth. It could be Orcs, it could mm -hmm. be Count Grishnak. Count Grishnak could be saying. <laughs> What's the other rock name from uh, 
from uh, Lord of the Rings. I'm sure there's a name of another orc. Fuck yeah. Um, it's interesting that they do have their own sort of language. Almost, yeah, well, like, yeah, local slang. Yeah, local slang, wasn't slang. it? So yeah, gr- uh, roasted barley, oats, and lactose. Oh, lovely. We'll have to do, lo- we'll have to do local yeah. slang when we do our beers. Cockney slang. Yeah, we can call them butcher's hook. Yeah, and Aristotle, Pe- Aristotle and Bottle, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, Pigs here we're going down yeah. the rubber dub. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Battle Cruiser. Yeah, Skyrocket. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the cheap range. Mm. It's, it's, it's easy on your oh, Skyrocket. Oh, yeah, the, the circle side, the circle. We've got Smooth and Sweet mm-hmm. at four. Okay. We've got Malty at three. We've got Bitter Hoppy Fruit. Flora at one and sour at no, sour. We've like a single sour. <laughs> oh, no. And I think most of the time we, we barely, I suppose sour is quite an unusual one for for these beers. But I like sour. Yeah, I quite like yeah. that one as well. It was really it was different, mm. wasn't it? It was different. Yeah. And I still can't remember the difference between bitter and sour now. What's the difference between bitter and sour? Uh, sour, sour is the acidity. Oh, right, yeah. So like it's more lemon. like a lemony yeah. kind of one. Bitter's. Just bitter. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't fucking know. I just drink. Not a lot of smell. I just drink the stuff. But I can definitely tell the difference. If I have it, I know. Lovely colour. What are we talking about there? Oh, it's smoky. Oh, it's nice. It's got like a smoky taste almost. They didn't mention that. Think smoky? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I think the Chinook uh, here is like a kind of smoky thing. But That's yeah. interesting. It's a very interesting... Mm. To me, it's not like... I suppose because they've got three in the multi, but mm. it's not... I don't know. Do you find it particularly sweet? I don't know. Not really. Not no. necessarily. I'm not getting massive tastes out of it either. I'm not getting massive hints of coffee or whatever it is no. they were saying. Um, mm. Lactose. I'm not getting an awful lot of milkiness from it. No. But well, I like it though. Yeah. I like it, but I can't like identify any kind of... Uh, element of it yeah it's just like an overall kind of like mm, yeah this is all i can taste a kind of smoking to it which yeah. i really like yeah and what i love about that is they've not mentioned that at all mm. and um it it's just come naturally i guess no i like it even at your amazing new things mm. probably well i don't no, smoking this no no i don't think so no come on man <laughs> Oh, Eric, it's really smoky. Yeah, it's like bacon. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like drinking a packet of fags. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not really. But yeah. it's nice though. So, it's... what are you tasting? So? I don't know. I'm not getting massive flavours. No, I'm not getting any kind of chocolatey or coffee. Quite, it's or... quite strong tasting again, though, isn't it? It's got that kind of it's yeah, got a bit of a kick to it's it. Got, it? It's just like five percent. Yeah, I'm just like. Mm. I just think, oh yeah, this, this is quite nice, but I'm, mm. I can't sort of say what it is that I'm feeling. I'm not feeling mm. like a milky lactose kind of coolness. No. I'm not getting like a, a coffee or a vanilla or a chocolate or... It's just you know like what you're getting? Piss. A bit of smokiness. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. And piss. Yeah. Yeah. But it's nice though. Mmm. 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 It's got like a laid back nice. It's not like a mm. where it's you're getting any massive elements. I think you're getting lots of different elements, but nothing shouting at you. And like so, it's just kind of like oh yeah, this is just it's the general like nice little drink. Yeah, you know, definitely one that I could uh, drink a few pints of. Yeah. Whoa, lovely. Mm. I feel like I need to read it again. Read it again then. Just because roast barley, oats and lactose. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't mention chocolate or coffee or nothing like that, does it? No. no. Or even smoky. I can no. taste the smokiness, but it's still their own, I guess. Yeah, this is just like mm. a... 
No, there's like no massive flavours, but just like overall, just a nice, mm. nice drink. Just a mm. nice. It's a very nice drink. Yeah. In a way, mm. it's probably better because it hasn't got one one flavour that overrides all. It's just like yeah. a general kind of like slightly sweet. Uh, slightly malty. Yeah, tastes just flavors. overall general nice drink. Yeah. You know? Score? That, Score oh, um, I've already forgotten my idea, but I don't think it's first place, but I think it may have jumped up into second mm. place for me. I, 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 I'm thinking just a score for the uh, actual beer. For this, just this one. Yeah. yeah sorry, I just so yeah. I was trying. I can't remember what. I, um, maybe a three, three point five, maybe. Yeah. Does it need to, does it need to be boosted up to a four? Yeah. Maybe that. I mean, you, you went higher than me on the last one, which is quite rare. It's rarely you go higher than me. I didn't realise that. Mm. Well, you've been you've been taking notes. <laughs> no, but I usually do score higher. Oh, that's true, actually. But normally it was for yeah. the lighter ones, though. Normally for the lighter ones, just yeah. Score but even the dark ones, the are dark ones are all the same. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, I didn't realise that. Yeah. So I think you score the engine oil higher than me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, this is like easily a three and maybe a three point five four, four at max. Like, yeah, pretty good. It's in that. It's definitely yeah. in that in that mm. ballpark. But like it's not one that's got any like flavour that's really jumping out right. and like sticking in your mind. It's just it's just an overall nice tasting beer. Yeah. It's like a, I could, I could have like, it again. I could happily drink this for mm. a good session. Mm. You know what I mean? There's no one character which is like standing out. It's yeah. just like it's like the all the elements fused mm. together to make just like a an overall oh yeah nice fucking pint. Yeah. You know, without actually saying, oh, it's a very malty or chocolatey or it's just like a, it's just a nice pint. You, you can't, nice you can't sort of taste a kind of smoky no. vibe going on. I don't think so. No. It, I like that in a way. It's like it's quite interesting how diff, uh, people's palates are different. Mm. I mean, like that beer we had in the beer and final. You can definitely taste yeah. smoky. That's full. Yeah. Man, but you know. I wonder if it's like a taste vibe or something else that you're interpreting mm. as, as being smoky. Yeah, maybe. Like a mouthfeel. It's, it's good though. Yeah. Well, like you say, it's kind of good when we're not both thinking the same thing about it. You are picking yeah. up something different. I mean, everyone we, do, we do pick up different things. Yeah, I think you do. Actually. Everyone's taste buds must yeah. be different, mustn't they? Something yeah. you know, it's just, it's just an obvious thing. We, we, we generally agree that we kind of pick almost the same beers as our bottom three and top three. Yeah. Our taste buds do tend to be quite different. Yeah. But we do like our dark beers, don't more, we? More, more, yeah. But you're, you're kind of like, generally like, a, you're quite like the light ones as well. Yeah. yeah. that was, I'm kind of like, kind of pretty good. regretted drinking the last bit. Not quite as much as some of the other ones. Oh man. But I was like, it was kind yeah. of, it was like, Ugh. Remember the other week you want this stick yeah. out to taste <laughs> yeah. again. It wasn't quite on yeah. that level, but no, that was that was yeah. that was very pleasant. Right, Graham, the time is now to pick your bottom three and your top three. Right, okay, I don't think it's too hard this yeah. week. But the bottom three and uh, um, maybe in, in order maybe uh, no, I don't think it's a sin. Yeah, these two are kind of like one was a little bit different, just a different twang, not necessarily more of a twang, just like one twang was a little bit different from the other twang. They weren't, mm. far, they weren't thoroughly unpleasant. And they weren't like, oh, fuck me, I'm glad that's over with. Yeah. It was like, yeah. that was okay. Yeah. It didn't, maybe one of them grew a little bit in twanginess. Yeah. And, I, and like, I'd, like, if there was something else on the bar, I'd move on to something yeah. else. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, and I don't they were fine, they were fine, they, but they were, and this one I think was just above these two, I think, in yeah. uh, a little bit yeah. nicer, I think I recall. Mm. Um, right, and then... Top three? You want to go top three now? Yeah. Well, the top three, let's see if I can do this in order. I think at the end, old engine oil, third. Yeah. That was decent. What? Quite heavy, but it was decent, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just it wasn't 
because it, it was an hour rather than a stout, it was just a bit. Um, the black Kolsch was a close runner actually. Yeah. But I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna go mm. with the old engine oil. Oh. Probably yeah. slightly level, but if mm. I had to choose, I'd go with the old engine oil. I think I'll go though the one we just drank as my yeah. second place one. Yeah. That was a very decent one. No outstanding characteristics flavour wise. Yeah. It wasn't smoky. It's it was fucking, smoky. It's off his fucking nut. <laughs> I'm off anyway. Yeah. I'm on fire. <laughs> but or it was, it was like that. yeah. But it was it was yeah. very decent. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Um, That's your favourite. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It wasn't stand. Yeah. I don't think it was. I don't think it was miles ahead of the others, yeah. to be honest. It wasn't miles ahead. It wasn't like sometimes we have one and it's just like, oh my fucking God, yeah. you know, kill me now because I'll never have a, another thing as nice in my mouth yeah. ever again. But, but it was, was alright, yeah, it was it was decent. Um, yeah, but it wasn't standout like mm. some of the times we had. And, um, you know, I could have an argument saying this one was as good, maybe. Well, these middle ones then, they were okay the middle, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were the fine, yeah. Ones. Well, you know what? The black coals could have possibly sneaked into the top three. It's so funny because, like, quite often uh, we have, like, we we're just saying we have different taste buds. Yeah. We, we, we sort of, like, have different uh, experiences with our beer. Yeah. But it is amazing how how, mu how close we are to um, our favourite and worst. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid I'm probably exactly the same. No. Um, I think... Um, I think... One of them you didn't like yeah, a bit that, more than the other one, didn't you? That was uh, like super hoppy. I went over the keen, not over the keen on that. It was hoppy, but it but wasn't you preferred bad. that one to that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is the six degrees north. These are the two six degree north yeah. ones. Were the ones we didn't not like, much. but I think possibly because they're they're more hark pinned towards the European. Yeah, mixture of European. European. Thing. Yeah, um, and maybe that was my uh, my next one. Yeah, the two in the middle. Uh, the black gross is pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. That weren't bad at all. No, it wasn't, as, uh, yeah. My favourite uh, three. Is it the same order as well? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> same order. Um, the old engine oil. Um, I mean, to be honest, like that, that's one of my third favourite, but you know, it probably comes close to yeah. being in the middle because I found it quite heavy. Right. But I, I quite liked it as a, like a proper bit. Yeah, I would say the top three this week weren't in the same calibre. Yeah, some, as some other of the weeks. top three yeah. in other weeks, yeah. Um, I, I definitely would go for uh, that one as my second. Um, Mad Can. Um, and it's smoky. It's smoky. It's really smoky. Ignore him, it is. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about ish. <laughs> Um, yeah, the breakfast out was uh, yeah. breakfast toast. Yeah, it's like um, have it for breakfast, <laughs> have it for afternoon and lunch, dinner, supper, supper. elevenses. <laughs> have it all the time. Yeah. Brunch. Yeah, have yeah. only cornflakes. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I thought it was really nice. So, yeah. So we agree again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. This is getting disturbing. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Our periods are blinking. Lighting up! <laughs> uh, Not quite the same, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, why did I even go there? Why did I go there? You should keep me in control I'll when try, I say I'll try to smell some bacon. <laughs> oh yeah, the smell of bacon. Nice. Why is it there bacon beer? I bet there is a bacon beer, isn't it? No, I, I, I've had something like that. I have had bacon a bacon beer. beer. Bacon. It's basically smoky beer, you know. Yeah, I've okay. had something like that before. Boo beer. Why do they get that women who can <laughs> make beer come out of their boobs? That'd be awesome. We could put that in the, our brew. Breast company. milk stout. Breast milk stout. Oh, man. That's going to be our top seller when we do our brewery. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to give it a good name, though. Frupperny uh, bit. Frupperny uh, bit. Frupperny bitter. <laughs> Frumpany <laughs> beer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to explain uh, that because frumpany yeah. beer is Cockney Rhymes name for, for tits. tits. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> frumpany beer. You're, get, you're gonna get oh used to that Cockney Rhymes name yeah. by the end of the. Our shows. fucking brewery company is yeah. gonna make fucking trillions, yeah. mate. Pleasant. Frumpany beer. Pleasant. Uh, pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're fucking off. Yeah. Thanks for for watching the video. Leave a comment. Yeah. Even if it's just to call us a pair of cunts, because it all yeah. helps the... Um, I, I, I like it. Mm. Just call us cunts. Yeah, and it helps the yeah. whatever. If you make a comment, give yeah. us a thumbs down, it, other yeah. people will see it. Yeah. But if you liked it, that's even better. Leave a yeah. thumbs up and leave a comment, whatever. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Beer is best. 
beer is best and makes you fit and makes you strong puts more muscle in your dong bong pong beer makes bonny britons beer has stood the test what did poor old adam say to eve beer is best